received a call in that evening and discovered that my kidneys had shut down. I stayed in the hospital for seven days and began dialysis. It kind of rocked my world because everything changed. When I started dialysis, I was in there three days a week and probably about six hours at a time. And um, I was pretty good at being able to work as well as do the dialysis, which a lot of people were not able to do. But still, with, with that being said, I was, didn't have enough money to take care of my monthly uh, budget. Over time, when you're getting your hair done by someone, you really get to know them. 10 or 12 years she's been doing my hair. Um, came across her just as a referral from a friend here in town. And we talked about all of those options for medical assistance, and there's some community organizations, but also making sure that she had those conversations about those medical expenses up front. Because what I find is a lot of people, they either don't know what questions to ask, or they're hesitant to bring it up. You know, you do build that bond and that friendship, and I think in that, is when she knew that I was struggling, that I think she wanted to step out and help me. It's that connection with the member. I mean, I could have easily just referred her to someone, but it's just, you know, how do you help the whole member? Because just doing a debt consolidation loan for someone doesn't necessarily help them. If you don't take that extra step for the education and really understand their whole situation, it's one member at a time. I mean, I can make a difference here and so that's what I need to do. She was really a, um, a conduit in helping me get the freedom that I needed by, you know, what she does for a living is helping others financially. So I was very grateful to her and all that she did. 